Hey everybody, welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. My name is Bear. We've got some good things going on still. I'm I'm very pleased lately with the uh, with the with the results of our expeditions. So hopefully we can continue to make good things happen. At the moment, though, we have a few people that I think we need to commit to some stress relief. So I think we'll uh, well of, of course we need to make sure we are not going to break any rules here before we send people places. And I believe we're going to be able to start with Wateo in the Penance Hall. So we'll go ahead and commit to this. Uh, Chartres is, is relatively high, that's about 48, you know, anything near 50 I feel probably warrants the expenditure of gold to try to get them in a better position. So let's make sure we'll again, uh, Faithless, he will not pray or flagellate, which I believe are the only two options we have here in the, in the, uh, Abbey. So we'll take him to the tavern, I suppose, and we can go with the brothel. Pleasures, pleasures of the flesh for a leper. That, <laughs> it almost seems like we're just making fun of him by doing this. This may sound like a strange well, well honestly, we kind of covered the fact that that sounds a bit like a strange request. Faroi, I believe, is faithless as well, but, uh, yeah, he'll only meditate, so we can send... Well, unfortunately, we can't actually send Faroi anywhere, it seems, because the meditation is occupied by the caretaker. Dismiss the known cheat, not allowed to gamble, but I believe we can have him pray. So we'll commit Dismiss to the transept, and that'll do. We have a lot of busts and crests right now. I kind of want to see what things require that, and indeed it is most of the stuff here. Probably should have taken this before I did that, but oh well. <laughs> Both of these would have been nice. We can uh, improve the cloister, I suppose. In a robe, claiming communion with the divine. And what we could do... God. <laughs> what we could do, actually, is open up other, another slot for the cloister to allow for Roy to uh, do a little bit of... Meditation to help him out. Maybe we'll go ahead and do that. And then Building we can also icons and dogmatic rituals. For some, a tonic against the bloodshed. Could also, if you don't mind, I, I'm never gonna even pretend I don't want to hear that guy talk as much as possible. We could also increase the stress recovery gain from the cloister. Although that is quite a bit of spending on the part of our uh, our abbey. So maybe we'll look at the guild here, see what we can do with this. Uh, we need portraits to be able to make this more worthwhile. How about the blacksmith? I think maybe that's a good combination for the blacksmith. No, we need, uh, deeds to go along with that. Although we can either reduce the cost of weapon and armor upgrades or unlock the armor smithing. Which could be b very damn useful as well. Maybe we'll do this. We'll go ahead and do this. A sharper sword. A stronger shield. Anything to prolong a soldier's life. And we can also extend the availability of spaces in the cloister, so that's a pretty good use of our resources there. And then we'll go ahead and commit Feroy to this. I will touch the thoughts lightly and let them go. It's got a lot of stress relief going on, and we haven't checked the stagecoach in a while, so I suppose it's probably worthwhile. Ah, oh, and a bounty hunter in the form of Ashwil! Let's have a look at him here. Warren's Explorer, Slayer of Beast, but he does have the runs. Ooh, that's a bad one. So if we, if we bring him on board, we're probably going to have to commit him to the sanitarium immediately to try to get rid of that. Which I think is probably worth it. Bounty Hunters are pretty damn good, and it's good to have the pretty much every other hunt. character. The promise of payment. Not a bad character to have available at some point in the future. Only 1,200 gold to get rid of this, so probably worth it. Do we need to upgrade this at all? No, we've already gotten up to that level with it. And then the infirmary needs an upgrade, of course, to be able to put more people in it. So having more busts and crests, in fact, maybe we wanted to, do, to uh, do that before we did any of those other upgrades. But nonetheless, I think this is a worthwhile use of our resources here. Sorry, I just got to click out of here one sec to minimize something. There we go. All right, I'm happy with that. Now we have to figure out what kind of build we're looking for for whatever excursion we partake of moving forward here. And we have a, we have an interesting option. A couple of interesting options actually. That was a weird voice pop. <laughs> what we could do is take another crusader in the form of Croc. Have a look at his options here. Deviant tastes, slow draws. That's a very slow first round for him, but he starts with faded. Ooh, and he also has clutch hitter. Faded is amazing. The chance to turn any miss into a hit. That's just Oh man, I kind of want to take him. He's got great starting options as well. Wow. Pretty good camping skills. Shit, Croc is good. Let's take this guy. A mighty sword arm anchored by holy purpose. A zealous warrior. He's just as excited about it as I am. I am okay with that. And now, 
Let's think about the build we're going with here. So we're gonna have Croc, of course, to man the front lines, then Malvolet's gonna be our number two. It's gonna be either the Jester or our Grave Robber, along with one of our... One of our, uh, what is this called? Vestals! That's the one. And I think it'll probably be Neuer's. Neuer's is obviously leveled up in the weaponry department, and the... Oh, well, then again, she's not exactly fit to be the... Number three. Well, no, she is. She's okay with that. That'll work out. Yeah. Although we did bring her along to try to uh, correspond with Wateo in the healing, so maybe we go with our Jester, actually. Because he's great in the third position, actually. Yeah, that could be a better option. On top of that, that gives us the uh, Battle Ballad availability again. So yeah, I, th I like the idea of bringing... Uh, Bringing Pushot. I think that's. Somebody said that was a French name in the comments. It's like Pichot or something like that. That sounds better. Yeah, it's, it's C H O T. I guess that makes a little bit more sense to give it that. That does Shaw. The, the French. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Suffix. I don't even know if they use prefix and suffix in French, but nonetheless, I like that option, so let's go with that. I don't think we really need to worry about too many more upgrades, so uh, let's go ahead and embark. Now. We have, uh, some availability here. All apprentice level quests. Nothing of particular note. A few explorers and a couple of skirmishes. I haven't gotten to the Warrens, though. The Warrens could be fun. And this gives us some opportunities to get portraits and crests. Let's go ahead and do the Warrens. That sounds like a good time. Croc, Malvolet, Pushaw, and Savigny. Our killer Vestal. Let's make sure she has the right stuff here. Yeah, Hand of Light is okay. All the heals. All the heals and all the feels. I like these options. Alright. Let's rock it. This will be a fun crew. The Jester's always a good time. Have the Dirk Stab availability. Slice off Harvest. And then our Hellion, of course, with all kinds of powerful attacks. And the Crusader, who starts with just the greatest things he could possibly ask for. Although his inspiring cry actually is pretty damn strong as well. This is something that I haven't really considered nearly as much as I probably ought to. The, uh, the value of the stress heals. Maybe I ought to... You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and unlock that for him. I'm gonna do that right now. Let's send, uh, Croc into the guild. Unlock the inspiring cry. And I'm gonna go ahead and swap off the Holy Lance for that. Because I like that quite a bit. I know Holy Lance is good as well. That gives us, of course, another opportunity to go in against the Unholy. And it's a it's a movement skill, which is always v very useful, but... I think I like Battle Cry better, or Inspiring Cry, rather. Luckily, we don't have to take care of any of these things. Of course, we're committing a Shwil to the Sanitarium. So this will work out. Alright, here we go. Oh, sorry, wrong one. Sorry, Tournament, you don't get to come out until Savigny says otherwise. Let's go to the Warrens, baby. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Grab the food. Pretty standard fair stuff here. Five torches ought to do it. Now, with the Warrens, I'm not exactly sure what to expect. I, I think a two-key, two-shovel setup is good for just about every space at the moment. Let's bring a couple of holy water. The Warrens kind of sounds like an undead, unholy sort of place, so that'll probably do us well. And then a couple of bandages, maybe an anti-venom and a medicinal herb to round it out. And that's good. Let's do it. The swine are resistant to disease thanks to their unclean living. Okay, so we're going to be meeting up with a lot of blight, it seems, down here. That appears to be the case based on the subtext. They breed quickly down there in the dark. But perhaps we can slay them even faster. Alright, well my uh, obvious pathing here is to start going around this way, come back through, check out that room, and then probably move down this way. It's just 100% of room battle, so as long as I have the opportunity to scout something, we should be okay. Free contents of a sack, 50 gold. Those usually don't give us that many benefits. I was expecting a trap there, okay. Mechanical hazards possessed by evil intent. That's a lot of stress to start off with, too, and a bleed, unfortunately, so... You know what? I might bandage myself up. That's a lot of damage. Yeah, three rounds and six health. I'm just gonna go ahead and take care of that right away. And, uh, no scout, unfortunately, but we're still moving nice and swiftly. Let's keep going. Another sack, probably another 50 gold, 100 gold. Alright, hey, we're moving up in the world! God damn it. This is, uh, 
cruel machinations spring to life with a singular purpose. All that's left of a previous adventurer, perhaps. Bandages, I imagine, would be good here, because this seems like it would be a sharp object I'd have to deal with. No effect. All right, so that's a waste for that one, unfortunately. How about disease? Medicinal herbs, perhaps? No good. Damn. Holy water is probably the one I ought to go with first. Allowing a thorough search. A torch! And an emerald. Well, all right, then. Let's get that radiant light back, and we'll move forward, because apparently nothing happens in these rooms. There we go. That's more like it. Oh, shit. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh... Tell you what, a Dirk Stab might be good here. Although, well, no, our Vestal might be okay in the front. We just have to move this guy forward. Uh, what do we want to do? Man, that's a really unfortunate start here. I don't think I'm going to Battle Ballad. These guys are relatively vulnerable to bleed. Maybe we ought to start off with that. A little bit of, uh, a, little bit of a harvest to begin the fight here. All right, there's some good bleed. If I can take them down in numbers before I, uh... Before I try to... Move these guys back to their original positions. For the slightest lapse in Jesus Christ almighty, that is some serious stress being piled onto our Crusader already. I'm really glad, actually, we gave him that stress heal, because we'll probably have to use it a few times. Uh, unfortunately, these guys are not unholy. Do I even dare try to deal some damage with her? That does apply a debuff if I can get it to land. Actually, this might be pretty worthwhile. Getting rid of the Swine Drummer, too, could certainly be helpful, but the Chopper does a lot of damage, so maybe I ought to go for this. And there's the debuff. Okay, so he's going to be a lot less effective now. Breakthrough could be nice. A Wicked Hack would potentially kill the Drummer, who, of course, applies those stress uh, attacks. I can go with this. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. No quarter at all. All right, well, he can inspire and cry in the back line still here, so maybe I ought to go with that while I'm trying to take down their numbers. Because he is seriously feeling it already. We're only in the third room of this dungeon. He started at zero, so this is really bad. All right, help us out a little bit. A little bit of stress. A little bit of stress ain't now hurt nobody, no way. Uh, another Wicked Hack could be nice here. The Swine Slasher would go down with this kill guaranteed, so... Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. That'll work. No harvest here. A slice off. Dirk stab is still a good option for the movement. Hits the back line. Too. Well, honestly, let's maybe kill this guy first. Well, then again. <laughs> Sorry, I got a little bit of a tickle in my throat here. Killing the swine wretch first. I can't decide. I really need to get the Crusader up. But then again, maybe we just end this fight and then we deal with the Crusader later. How about that? How about we kill this guy? Leave the one alive because he's got that debuff so it's not going to be as bad. And then we can try to do some stress heals in the back line as we do other stuff with the other guys. I like that. Now we have Divine Comfort available again, but we don't need to do that at the moment, of course. We can hand of light on the wretch. Decent chance to kill. Didn't hit, but it does do a debuff to him as well. Let's see if that affects him eh, decently. It does still hit the bleed, though. And that is a significant bleed, too. We still gotta help himself before he helps anybody else. This stress is not something we want to take lightly, that's for damn sure. Good dodge with the Jester, okay. Helps us out quite a bit. Please, no stress. Oh, that's starting to stack up a lot. Alright, give me the kill. Thank you very much. Faint hope blossoms. All right, now health damage we can deal with. Health damage is not the not the issue here. Dirk stab, I suppose, is still a good option. We might as well deal damage to him and then make it easier to take him down later on. Uh, we can move her forward to try to get the vessel up to the back, and then we can just go ahead and do this. Well, no, still, I think the inspiring cry is my best bet. Slowly healing himself while he takes his stress down as well, so this is okay. That's probably the best. Oh, that is not at all what I wanted. Damn, I was I was thinking. Wow. Okay. <laughs> These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Whoa. Okay. Hell yes. Give me that ancestral sacred scroll, baby, Savigny. My God. It's not even that great, but I like the red. <laughs> Stress resist, though, that can be very good, and some additional stress heal in the camps as well. Not a bad start. 
Ancient barbaric rituals with the sacred stone. The sacrificial stone, rather. How about some purity? No effect. Alright, well. Give it a whirl. Deeply disturbed. Damnation. Wow! Holy shit! Okay. Oh, now we're, uh... Now we're starting to get a little worried. Oh my god, the stress is starting to pile up. Something awful. Good scout, though. Okay. We have a fight right out of the gates here. There's our second room fight. Probably end up having to go here. Oh no, sorry, I'm an idiot. That's the entrance. <laughs> I was like, I don't, re I don't recognize that symbol. What does that mean? Okay. I guess we move forward, although we could bandage her. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. Oh wait, we're out of bandages already, wow. I feel like I might have uh, seriously underprepared for the Warrens here. And I remember going here before as well, I just don't seem to recall what it consisted of. This, however, is a very good result for us. As long as that doesn't push me back. Thank you very much, okay. Now this works. This I can deal with. So we take these two out, we leave the rabble, and we start to stress heal. That's gotta be our move here. So let's go with the harvest and the bleed chance is good on these guys. Thank you very much. Breakthrough could be helpful too. I am probably gonna have to do some healing. Get the Hellion back up to good status. That bleed, of course, is gonna c continue to apply. He's gonna move forward. Which is still okay, the breakthrough still works out pretty damn well. The bleed is stacking, unfortunately, so I really need to address that. I don't think I have anything that allows me to take care of it, though. I'm probably just gonna have to wait it out and then heal later on. Alright, breakthrough is definitely my best course of action here. Highest chance to hit through the middle. There we go, the Acolyte should die. One damage per round, she'll get another attack, so if I can finish her off with somebody... Maybe I ought to do that, yeah. Plus a self-heal on Savigny, let's go for it. There we go. Alright, now we just need a whack on the Cultist Brawler. That Rend, of course, luckily they didn't stack that even further on our Hellion, but... Still don't want to have to deal with it. But only one more damage though, so I suppose it's not that big of a deal, and the Wicked Hack on the Brawler ends it up. Ends his life. Rapidly. Alright, now... Now we start to address our stress levels, because that has just been... Super... Califragilistic XP Aladocious thus far in this freaking dungeon. But we can solve this problem. As long as we just take heed to the opportunity presented to us by the Bone Rabble, because their damage is not significant enough to warrant focusing him down. We can just instead try to put everyone else in a better position moving forward. The bleed will go away soon here. We can continue to do the inspiring cry. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. I think I ought to just go ahead and try to keep him around 40. The Vestal stress obviously is the biggest issue here. Wish I had another stress reliever. Maybe I ought to consider bringing two stress relievers along for pretty much every single one. That doesn't sound like a terrible call. We also need to upgrade something. These healing spells pretty damn soon. That would be nice. We're just kind of stalling for time here again. We're going to do a couple of stress reliefs on our... Uh, Vestal, and then if I could give her the opportunity to deal the deal the killing blow, maybe even get a crit strike due to these buffs. She has a plus three percent crit chance, so that will probably be what I end up doing here. One more stack. It does max out at three stacks. We gotta keep that. In oh wait, it, well, it temporarily had the. Well, what? Okay. Why does she lose out? That's weird. All right, whatever. Killing blow. Stress relief. A little bit. All right, not bad. As victories mount, so too will resistance. So I don't want to sit here and cheese the game the whole time. So I'm going to avoid just uh, spending a bunch of time on uh, doing some stress heals. Uh, Disease-ridden card. I wish I had my medicinal herbs. I'm going to go ahead and pass up on this one, unfortunately, because I am almost guaranteed to have some negative repercussions. Although the jester's not in dire straits, so I guess I could try it. And there we go. Oh, good. He resisted that. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm kind of glad I took the, the gamble on it, honestly. I'm okay with that. Alright, nothing doing here. We got a trap to deal with moving toward this room, but we're going to have no problem with that because I believe the Jester has a pretty high trap chance. He does, 30%. Or does the Hellion have a higher one? They're both at 30. Oh, God. I'm clicking the wrong one again. Yeah, they're both at 30. 
Zero percent. Oh my god. Well, obviously we're not going to do it with him. So let's go with the uh, Hellion for now. A stack of books. I suppose that doesn't hurt me too much. Lasting effect. This is a good quirk. Thick-blooded. 10% blight resist. That is very good for this area. Oh, but then she fails victim to the trap. A little bit of Curious is the greed. trap maker's art. His efficacy unwitnessed by his own eyes. Ouch. Oh my god, now she's really hurting. Alright, we're gonna have to address that. Uh, maybe we eat some food here, actually. No, I think we'll be okay. We'll just take a... Taking a mild gamble moving into this room. Hopefully it's an easy enough fight. Doesn't really look like it, though. Okay. Start off with a vomit on the Jester. Some stress for him. Bad humors. Oh, God. Okay. Well, first of all, we got to get her back into fighting spirits. This is not going as well as I would have liked. Maybe we want to go with a stun on these two. Very high chance to hit. They don't have a lot of stun resist. The chopper has a 50-50 shot. Let's hope for it. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so she's losing some damage, but that is a very good start for us now. Do we do Battle Ballad, or do we try to apply some bleed to these two guys? I think I ought to try to do as much damage as possible here. That'll do. And then some Zealous Accusations might do us well in the future here. Oh, Drums of Doom. Oh, stress for everyone. We really need to get to that back line very fast. Oh my god. Let's see. Zealous Accusation. Chance to kill, although it's a very high chance to kill with the Smite against the Brawler. That's more like it. One down. Stress relief for the Crusader. I'll take it. Well, this guy's gonna be a problem still. He's just applying so many conditions here. Good dodge, though. Drums of debilitation. Oh, the crit! The tide turns. A debuff and a mark. We're losing that on a lot here. Oh, let's see. Do I battle ballad or do I harvest? It's a question I often find myself asking. I think the bleeds are good. Stacking the bleed on the wretch is going to help me out a lot. Oh, a stun on our Vestal. That's unfortunate, but I think we can still do quite a bit of good here. Actually, you know what? A breakthrough might be in our interest. That's 2 to 4 damage on the drummer. I'd really like to be able to get to him. Although, if I can do this, maybe that takes away a lot of his options in the second space. But then again, a breakthrough is almost guaranteed to kill the wretch due to the bleed. So let's do this instead. Oh god, now, come on. We don't need that right now. Zealous Accusation does it as well, although Stunning Blow could be better against the Chopper. He's got a high chance to resist. But I think I ought to do it. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Not the greatest luck at that point. Uh, let's see. Slice Off could kill the Wretch before he has a chance to do much more. Drummer could certainly use some more damage as well. Let's just do this one because he... Well, then again, a Harvest still does a decent amount of damage, and that's pretty much the effect we're looking for. I like the Harvest here. Let's go with this. Wretch is dead before he acts, so that's good for us. The bigger the beast, the greater the glory. And a stunning blow on the drummer is a very good idea here. Oh, come on now. That's a 1 in 4 chance of him grabbing that. Alright, we gotta keep our Hellion alive. Her mark is not gonna bode well. Both of these guys get a chance to act. I was really hoping he couldn't do Drums of Doom again, but he got some dodges, so that's good. Only a little bit of stress for the Hellion. That's not so bad. No, Wicked Hack will take him down. If it hits, 83% chance to strike on that one. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, good resist on the stun. Okay. We're doing all right now. Honestly, things are a little bit better. Please don't. Please don't stun me. Thank you. Okay. We need to relieve her stress. We really need to relieve her stress. We need to level up that heal. My god. All right. Inspiring cry. We gotta help her out. Maybe even give her a chance to get some kills. Oh, I keep leaving him alive. What am I doing? Oh, that was a big misplay. We gotta take him down. That's more like it. Okay. He can stay alive. I can deal with our... I can deal with our health. It's not the worst thing. The stress is still an issue. Keeping the Hellion up. Give me some good heals, please. Uh, Battle Ballad again is good. Having a crit strike, or even two crit strikes at some point through this would be very nice. Do I do a stun again? Honestly, that's not the worst call. He's still got that resist, but there we go. That debuff doesn't matter too much. I think we can take some time here, try to put us in another uh, 
desirable position. These two are probably going to need some stress relief if we end up ma making it back to town, but... Well, look at that. Look at that number. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Stun again. Very good. Okay. Obviously losing the dodge chance, but... Not a huge deal. I think it's probably time we try to start attacking with the uh, Vessel here because our health is in decent shape and she's looking better off with the stress these days. Let's go with some Judgment Calls. Alright, healing herself as well with that move. I'm still getting that crit chance bo boosted up. Might honestly want to go for a Smite. Ouch. I just realized how little health the Jester has, holy cow. Alright. Well, a Stunning Blow is good, too, actually. Stunning Blow has just a... Uh, or a I don't know. Is the crit chance better with the uh, Smite? It probably is. Wicked Hat gives us a pretty decent crit chance here, to uh, 8%. What else have we got going on? No, that's our that's our best shot. Let's go for it. There we go! Blow. That is nice. That is nice. Okay. Wow, we did it! Oh! Okay. Well, shit. <laughs> well, that was easy. Um, cool. All done. Definitely gonna unlock this. Oh, well, whatever. Open it up. Oh, it says unlock strong box. I'm a dumbass. Okay. <laughs> well, that certainly was not the greatest... The greatest quest in the world. Their squeals fade. Their confidence is shaken. But I will take it. It's decent. I think we overprepared for that one, to be honest. That was a little bit... Uh, we need a little bit less than we brought for the ride. After seeing troubling behavior, we'll not take part in prayer activity in town. That's okay. Demona De Demonomania! Possessed by demons, but ooh, that is nice! Plus 10% melee damage. Minus 10% death blow resist, that's that's kind of a bad one to have on the Jester, but stress resist is good. Okay. Well, I'd call that a meh <laughs> overall. I can still see their angry faces as they stormed the manor. But I was dead before they found me. And Very good stress away. relief. Got pretty much exactly what we could have hoped for out of the... Uh, out of the in-town options this time around. Unfortunately, we had a net loss of about, I'd say, a couple grand there as far as gold is concerned. But nonetheless, thanks for watching this episode of Darkest Dungeon. I'm, I'm kind of not entirely pleased with my play this time around. I feel like I could have made a lot better decisions, put us in some uh, better positions as well. Through the course of those fights, I need to be better prepared for the Warrens. I need to start remembering what things interact with what within that dungeon. But, then again, we made it out alive. So that's all we can hope for sometimes. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. Appreciate that a lot. My name is Bear. I'll see you next time.